Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to defeat the Valiant Gargoyle double boss in Elden Ring. If you have been struggling with this boss, I'll teach you exactly what you have to do to beat this boss. First, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, leave a like, and let's get into it. The first thing you want to do, you want to head to this part of the map, to the Nocron Eternal City. It's in the underground area of the map in Elden Ring. And you get here by defeating the Mimic tier that's yourself. And you want to go to the Ancestral, Ancestral Woods side of grace right here and I'll show you where to go from here. So just hop on your horse and then go this way through this small forest. When If you reach the temple, go left, you don't want to go through the temple and then there's a little woody area or forest area behind the temple you want to go there. It looks like there's nothing but there's actually a ledge that you can jump onto and there's a cave. You just keep going through that cave and there's going to be a side of grace that you can save at. So once you're here, you just want to go this way, keep going, but be careful because here there's a little spot that we want to jump, but it's very tiny. I almost fell here. I almost died in here again. So be careful. Once you jump on these two spots, you go up these stairs right here, and you want to go right, and then straight ahead a little bit, and then right. And then right to the left is where the boss fight is at. So before getting into the fight, I'm going to show you what I actually am wearing as equipment. So I have for my Wonders Physique the Cerulean Hidden Tier and the Opaline Bubble Tier. As for my equipment, I'm actually using a Meteorite Staff, but I'm going to be using the Rivers of Blood Katana, a Silver Tier Mask, the Radagon Icon, Gold Scarab, Crimson Amber Medallion, and Stargazer Heirloom. And I'm going to be using my Black Knife Tish that's plus 8. It's fairly well upgraded for this fight. Also, I have 31 in Vigor, 22 in Mind, 13 in Endurance, 23 in Strength, 23 in Dexterity, 25 in Intelligence, 22 in Faith, and 30 in Arcane. I'm level 97, so I'm going to show you if you're level 97 or even below how you can defeat the Valiant Gargoyle. The first thing you want to do is call out your Black Knife Tish. So my Wonders Physique allows me to use the FP or not spend any FP for the first few seconds after I have drank my mix of Wonders Physique and also it gives me this bubble around me that takes a damage or one hit from a boss or whatever and it takes barely any life from me so it's really good because I, it pretty much saves me uh, a flask once I get hit the first time. So what you want to do is the Black Knife Tish is really really good against these bosses especially if it's really highly upgraded if, if you can upgrade it to plus 10 even better and then what you want to do, as you can see, he, the Black Knife Tish on its own is destroying the other Valiant Gargoyle on its own. I just have to come here and attack him with my Rivers of Blood Katana to finish him. And then once there's only one left, then it's pretty much the same idea. You kind of want to aggravate the Valiant Gargoyle because if it focuses too much on the Black Knife Tish, the Black Knife Tish is not that strong to defend against its attacks. It moves up around a lot. But it's not ideal if the Black Knife Tish dies. So you want to be the one receiving or at least having the focus on you. And the Black Knife Tish, as you can see, just pretty much took care of this enemy on its own. I, I did some damage, but we together in this fight worked really well. And it should work really well for you as well. So just to summarize, Rivers of Blood Katana, Black Knife Tish, both at plus 8, sort of. If you want to be at my level, or if you're even a, a, a level above mine, I would focus my points on Dexterity. So the Rivers of Blood Katana is doing even more damage. And then this way, you'll be able to defeat them in no time, and it's really easy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this was very helpful. Leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.